My name is Yaqub Saba. I am a victim of Israel. My town is Lidda, which is now Lod. Mm -hmm. Yes, the Israeli invaded my town in 1948 in July. And they took me for three days to work with the army. And then <clears throat> when I come back to my home, I didn't find my family. They all been evacuated. Then I took, I told the officer, yes, I want to stay here. Where is my family? They told me, we want your home for the Jews. We don't we want you. Therefore, I am victim of the Israelis. Now you mentioned all the Israeli what goods. Who, who bombed the King David Hotel? Who killed Count Bernadotte, the peacemaker? Who killed 29 worshippers in Hebron Mosque in Ramadan? Goldstein, and you called him a hero. You didn't mention these. Yeah. Only you mentioned. Sure. I'd be yes. happy to mention Will all you, of them. I want you to be truth. Absolutely. You, I don't want you to be one-sided. Well, but the truth is one-sided, uh, yes. unfortunately. Yes. By July of 1948, seven, uh, let me finish. I let you speak, now let me finish. Seven Arab armies had invaded Israel. Israel did not, did not start this war. In 1947, in November of 1947, when the partition plan was announced by the UN, the Jews danced in the streets. The Arabs met to devise a plan to eliminate the Jews, to, to, to drive them into the sea. The people who started the war in 1948 are the Arabs. That is undisputable history. The people who start a war are responsible for its consequences. The people who start a war cannot lay the claim to be the victims because they started the war. Now, I know that not all the Arabs in Palestine wanted that war. There were many Arabs, primarily the, the, what I would call the common man, were not interested. They were friendly with the Jews. They didn't want this war, but they suffer the consequence of their leader's actions. And when you start a war, you suffer the consequences. Now, King David Hotel. The King David Hotel was at the time the headquarters of the British occupying army in Palestine, who was now leaving. It was bombed after a phone call was made to the hotel, telling them there was a bomb in the hotel and asking them to evacuate. The, uh, what else did you mention? Um, uh, Hevon. Goldstein, or whatever his name was, is a criminal and sits today in jail in Israel, and I wish they would execute him. No, he is not a criminal. He was he is killed a at, no, he, he was killed in the, in the... That's right, he was killed. If people, he hadn't been killed, what would have happened to him? He would have, been, he would have sat in but, Israeli jail, and if Israel had the death sentence, Israel, he would have been killed. But, what does Yasser Arafat do to people who kill Jews? He gives them awards, and he gives the, the, the families money to compare the Israeli government that is protecting the Palestinians from some very small number of Jewish fanatics who would murder them in a mosque, which I condemn, Israel protects the Arabs from those fanatics. Yasser Arafat funds the fanatics. He helps them. He sends them on. The Palestinian Authority from 1930 to this day has been intent on massacring Jews, has been intent on violence, has been intent on destroying any, any Jewish settlement in Palestine. So it is unequivocal, Therefore, it is unequivocal that one side is right here and one side is wrong. And yes, there are so-called innocent victims on the Palestinian side, but they are the victims. If you have a claim against somebody for the loss of your home and, and, and Israel kicking your family out, it is against your own leadership. You should be, you should be attacking the Palestinian leadership who started this war.